Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Handington and today we're continuing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I cut off the last episode because these episodes were taking uh, a lot of time to render, so if you're wondering what happened uh, in between episodes, I'm going to be doing that for this series. So now you know for the future, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Yeah. Oh, I ordered it from Mabel. Oh, I don't get it. I didn't get it from the other the, the blue alpaca guy. Woke up this morning, caught yourself a bug. You ordered Cyrus to make you a rug. He said, yeah, you're one in a million and you got to burn the shine, but you were born under a bad sign, said that blue alpaca guy. <laughs> when you woke up this morning and all that love had gone, <laughs> your papa never told you about right and wrong. <laughs> but, you, but you're looking good, baby. I believe it, you're feeling fine. Shame about it. Born under a bad sign, said that blue alpaca guy. So singing now. Woke up this morning. Got a blue moon. Got a blue moon in your eyes. Woke yeah. up this morning. Oh, uh -huh. well, la, la, la. You said you woke up this morning. Placed your modern lamp. Load above things ain't been the same since that blue cat's in our camp. But you, but you're one in a million. You got that. Shut can shine, shame about it. Born under a bad sign, said that blue alpaca guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woke up this morning and I, I, I got yourself a bug. Woke up this got morning. Got yourself a bug. Got yourself a bug. I don't know who you are. Let's give you a chat. Margie. Oh, she should sound like Marge Simpson. Oh, what a darling camper! It looks almost new! Oh, oh me! I don't know how to do a Marge voice. So, that's, that's my uh, attempt. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Margie, and I'm a fellow outdoor enthusiast, Tootsie. I'm always glad to help you out with anything, from building a fire to eating leftover s'mores. Goldie said the same thing. I like Goldie. You're, you're, so far you're okay in my book. So let me know if you need my expert services. Oh, by the way, can I help you with something? No, but maybe I can help you. Ma, uh, I need an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> At least she's a lot nicer than some of the other villagers who are just like, oh, can I help you or should I say, can you help me? Which is actually much more accurate because, you know, we're here to help. We're, uh, we can talk to them and we can get a free bonus thing, and then the other things require items. I bet there's something truly satisfying about customizing your very own camper. It is. Oh, I also bought one upgrade at OK Motors, and then I realized I should save this for stuff on recording, because those guys are amazing, and I love them all, and they are all my, my, my friends. I love them. And then there was like well, the, the painter guy, and then the, the, the first guy was just like, hey, we gotta keep Georgie painting. We gotta keep his hands busy. Something about like, that just seems so ominous, which I love. It's just like, yeah, we gotta get him busy painting campers. Otherwise he gets to stabbing. <laughs> I'm terrible. But at the same time, I just love that they're, 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 they're the good feathers. I love it. Anywho, so. I just love it when the place's interior and exterior are a perfect reflection of its owner, Tootsie. Uh, again, I know Marge makes the <laughs> noise, so that's that, that's what I'm doing. Which also sounds somewhat similar to an elephant. Yeah, it fits. It all comes full circle. Need something, Tootsie? Yes, here you go. Take an apple from my inventory. Oh, Holly, you're oh, there. We go. You look like your body kind of split in half there when you were turning around. This is just terrific. Thank you. <laughs> and we've earned a reward. When it says, here's your reward, I think about this scene from Aladdin where Jafar, dressed as the guy, goes, Now you will have your reward. Except instead of trying to stab Aladdin's hand, he, he uh, just gives him bells and steel. 
Well, technically, actually, that is what he was doing to Aladdin. He was trying to give Aladdin some steel, except instead of giving him raw resources, it was steel in the form of a blade that he wanted to put into his hand. Ah, thanks again. I suddenly feel like anything is possible. Heart goes up to a level two. There we are. Lag. Lag. Wonderful, terrible lag. I don't know how much of this is recording. I don't know how well it's recording. I haven't checked the recordings from before. I just have transferred them. Uh, so I don't know how well these episodes are turning out. Or even if, like, I, you can hear me very well, judging by how the microphone is. So I'm hoping these are going to go well. If not, eh, we'll see. I have to do this upright so you don't get as good of a, an audio quality from me as if I turn it sideways and you can hear me from left and right. Now you can hear me from top to bottom, I think. Unless the bottom one doesn't record while I'm doing this, I don't know. We got Harmonious Essence, which is a brand new essence I don't have. Yay, more money. Do, 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 do. Ooh, honey money. Yes, Harley Day. Here, take this. I love how forceful we are. They just, in their mind, they just think of these things. We read their mind, and then we forcibly give them stuff. Here you go. And then they're just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is just terrific. Thank you. It's like you read my mind. Do you get those powers in the Mafia? Gasp, you know that we're in the Mafia too? Maybe. Maybe I heard it from a friend. Uh, you can't you can't let word of that slip too easily, okay, Margie? We gotta make sure that Isabel is safe. Thanks a ton. Someone as kind as you must have a ton of friends. Get it? I'm an elephant. Elephants weigh a ton. Need something, Tootsie? Yes, here you go. Have a pile of my fruit. Oh, Rosie had asked for a flower earlier, and I'm just like. Here, take my blood money, flower. I've worked hard to grow these. I don't like giving away the flowers, but Rosie wasn't choosing anything else, so I was just like, all right, fine, you're in my camp. You're, you're, you were our first mafia member. But I have to say, if our camp fills up and we gotta get some more people in here, Rosie might be on my list of people who have to get kicked out of my mafia. I mean, we, we both have planned that we'd betray each other at some point in the future after our friendship has grown, so we're just gonna, we're gonna wait and see things. I gave Rosie a polka dot shirt out of friendship, and she gave me some more items. She was talking about how bad my, my designing is and how good hers was, and she gave me resources so that I could build better things in my camp, which was nice, but an underhanded compliment, so I think Rosie is gonna be on the chopping block. She's gonna be head of the new mafia for everyone who isn't in our mafia. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna end up having rival mafia gangs in the future. So anyway, Margie, giving us some more stuff out of gra gratitude. Four hundred bills, which is a lot actually. That's nice. Thanks a ton. Yeah, we should have a lot of friends, but I have no friends. I've been trying to friend some of the villagers who appear because apparently those villagers just appear at random, and there aren't people around me. I think. Um, or if they are people around me, there's a lot of people around me. I live pretty close to New York City, so makes sense but um yeah none of them have uh, accepted any friend requests that i've sent so far so we'll just see how things go interesting the one the, the reward that i gave her the, the mission where i gave her stuff i earned more money than leveling her up you'd think that the level up would be a bit more important but eh, we'll see and now to do the ritual inviting you to the campsite you want me to come to your campsite holly I'm flattered. I'd love to, but first I need to make pork chops for homie. All right, let's see. What stuff do you want? Bamboo tree, cabana, oh na na. Vanity, flower pop carpet, cabana armchair, cabana table. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Mm, I kind of like Margie. We'll work on getting your stuff next. So I'm going to favorite all your furniture to be on the, uh, the list of stuff to try and make eventually. Whenever your campsite is ready, just look me up. I can't wait to come visit. There we go. Ooh, Goliath beetle. Those are super valuable. Just like in the actual Animal Crossing, if you sell the valuable bugs on the trees, um, you'll get lots of money on the island. So this isn't just any average area. This is a place where you can earn lots of money from those bugs. Uh, and you can also fish too for some rare stuff, but the bugs, they, I mean, you get a lot from the bugs. So it's a good I idea to try and do that. 
Let's see. I don't know when everybody else is starting to leave. I did summon them already. Let me head over to the forest and talk to somebody new. The Breezy Hollow. Yes. Oh, I haven't done... Oh, moving in three minutes. All right, we got to do this quickly. I haven't done some of the other places because I've been waiting to do those on an episode as well. Um, so we'll, we'll get to that shortly. I think I'm going to check out this one villager uh, and then we're going to end the episode here. And then in the next episode, we're going to talk about all the other cool stuff that'll be happening. We're going to check out the new areas. Uh, but I wanted to show you how much things have started to update for me, or at least my experience with this game has been improving. Oh, I have fruits that I want to get. Mm. Let me briefly check to see if there's any uh, perfect stuff, and then I'll talk. Oh, there's a nice person there. All right, no perfect things. Let's talk to you before you disappear. Bam! Whoa, is that you, Holiday? I haven't seen you in forever. You've been working out, fist bump. Oh, we have met before. I completely forgot you existed, Bam. Man, I love just hitting people. I mean, hitting the road and meeting people. It's almost like, I don't care, hitting people. I accidentally hit the screen a bit too quickly. Like all sports, it's my specialty, but there's still so much yet out there that I haven't seen. I want to go where the people are. I'm getting all sweaty just by thinking about it, or maybe it's because I'm sitting next to a fire. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did talk to you before. I forgot. You left very little impact on me, Bam. Hey, what's up, boosh? Is that, is that an animal slur? It sure is. Here, take some fruit. Thank you. I won't say no to this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you walk out on a workout with five reps left? No way, Brosephine. Only Jay can say Brosephine. I don't like you. I need a little help making dessert here. Mmm, fruit, ta fruit tart time with Bam. Delish. All right, you've gotten in good graces. You, gi you gave Holly food. That's all you need. And now you're in my good graces again. There we are. I'm going to screenshot that. Hopefully that did not mess up my recording. And you made an orange cake with the orange I gave you. You're okay in my book again, bam. All right, I no longer dislike you. Yay. Ooh, we got a bonus steal. All right, yes, you're okay, bam. If it, bam, is, bam is nice. I don't want to get on the mafia's bad side, so here you go. Thanks a ton for doing this. <laughs> You are smart, Bam. You are very smart. <laughs> there we are. Here, let me give you some more stuff. Here's one of the uh, is Isabel's dead classmates from her past. Whoa, thank you for the shell. I love the smell of death in the morning. That's why I'm cooking these fish. Really help me out here. Fist bump, high five, full body whapping. Okay, last one is optional. You don't need a whapping. That's a Game Grumps reference, by the way. And now we can change your clothes if you're at my campsite. We earned a pile of stuff. Hooray. Yay. Now let's talk to you, because apparently the th I still have the three minutes left. Trading like a mad woman? Oh man, I'm thirsty. Got any extra juicy fruit you, don't f you, you feel like sharing with me? I could go for water. That's much more thirst quenching, but I'd rather eat fruit. I'm so parched, I'll even accept regular fruit. Well, you seem posh. You'll accept regular fruit? Fine, eat some lychees. I have a ton of these. Come on, there we are. Hey, I've never, I've never been one to turn down lychee. Thanks for bros, thank you, Brosephine. Man, I should move away from this fire. Start dehydrating me, along with the cold winter air. Yay, we got some preserves. Bruce Fiend, you really helped me out there. Fist bump, high five, full body backflip. That's what I said. Okay, last one is still optional. You're not, excuse me, you're not backflipping, so I just want to remind you that you, you, have, you have the option to backflip. I mean, you don't have to, but that'd be cool. Oh, I didn't realize it's the friends only. Look at those seahorses. Look at their eyes. Oh, they're precious. Oh. Shoot. All right. Fine. You don't get my business. I'll just shake these trees in anger. 
collect in pairs, collect in pairs, collect in delicious, juicy pears. Shake in this tree. Hopefully, I'll get something one day. Let's see. Where should we head off to? Let's go to OK Motors. We'll do that in the next episode. I'm gonna head to town instead. Yeah, let's go. Burr, burr. I've been debating about whether or not I want this Brewster's winter coat. Or cot... Cotty? Gotty. Gotty the Cotty. It's 300, which would be basically all my leaf tickets. I don't know if I want it, but I would want this over a number of other items. And it's easier to get it now than when it's reissued, I think. So I am I'm in de I'm in debate. I also just bought some more of these things, uh, the fortune cookies, and got some of those. Oh yes, I want to show you my fortune cookies, which I have. Um, what should I call it? I've been in, I, I I've acquired a number of fortune cookies here in my miscellaneous. So I'm gonna have an episode where I show you all the ones that I've been collecting, the specialty ones. Now, in terms of clothing, I have what is this? Soccer socks and blue pumps. So Kix is selling some more things. Are these the same? Yeah, it's the same. Soccer socks and blue pumps. It's the same things. I don't really need those. However, green buckled shoes. Hello there. Those are green buckled shoes. They cost $420. Alright, it's $420. I gotta buy it. Brilliant. Much obliged, chum. How, how can I not? I was debating on whether or not to, but it's 420. Plus it's Kicks. Kicks is poor. We gotta, we gotta make sure the Kicks gets some money. That comes to 420. Very kind of you, young miss. And uh, he, he, he tips his hat and Holly tips her hat as well, because they're both, they both know what's going on here. Pleasure doing business with the Mafia. There we are. Don't worry, Isabel. You didn't hear anything. I better not have. Or if I did, just keep it under wraps. Here. If you, if you slather some honey inside of a tree stump, I'll give you more things. Yeah, I'll give you five leaf tickets. I, I could use this to buy more food, but, you know. Don't tell people. You're in the Mafia. Kix, you gotta keep it quiet. Can't let people know that we're in the Mafia now. You gotta keep it under wraps. Make sure the mayor doesn't find out. Oi, governor. I'll make sure of that. You make sure to not let it slip or that it will slip? Not let it slip. I didn't, I didn't really specify that. I'm sorry. I, I, you know... Growing up on the streets, sometimes me old grammage is a little off. That's yeah, perfectly understandable. I don't have the best grammage at points. Good to know. We're two peas in a pod. I have to sell shoes so I can't join your mafia. But I wish you luck. Thank you, Kix. Holly then gives Isabel a little pat on the head and then she wags her tail. I have to narrate these things, otherwise you'll never know. Ooh, look, a giant red pot and tires. Is this a table that has a news cafeteria table? Timmy. Hello again. I, I don't know how to do a Timmy voice. I'm trying to do Timmy Turner's, but I can't do it. I'm very bad at things. No, I don't want a cafeteria table. Kinda want the vase. Might want the vase. Ah, red vase. It costs a lot of bells. Nah. Uh, pile of tires. Why is it so expensive? Alright, I'm going to pass up on the tires. I think that's everything for the day that I would want, so... Yep, we're good. So I believe, uh, I believe it's that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. This is Handington, signing off. Bye.